Just fucking do it. Subscribe now. You know, a 60 minute expose uh, calling them all out. Now, a few of them have made some money since then. Uh, but their information, most of which is still horseshit. And yet, uh, of course, I'm sure none of you have gone to anybody else's seminars or bought any other books or bought any, listened to any of the podcasts because I know you're pure of heart, pure of heart. And you, you couldn't have been bullshitted. I wish that were only true. Uh, but here we are, 2020, closing in on 2021, in the middle of Corona Rona. Do not forsake me, oh, Corona. Uh, when I sing in the shower, Sally just tells me to shut up. Uh, the, um, but seriously, you know, people are dying, and it's a serious situation. And uh, we can hope and pray that it's not going to be the, uh, the pandemic of 1918. But it's early days yet. It's early days. And right now, at least in America, they're politicizing it. And they're even politicizing it here in the UK. And I can't speak for the other countries. But um, as long as we have this lockdown mania, uh, it's good for us. You've heard a lot of different people in the last week, all of which didn't say it was easy, but then they said, but it is easy. They all start out by saying, it's not easy, but it is easy. Because it fucking is. Now, I know none of you would take candy from a baby or shoot fish in a barrel. Mm, where's shekels? Well, maybe. Maybe some of you. <laughs> Understand taking candy from a baby? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Understand shooting fish in a barrel? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So maybe shekels would. Uh, but uh, let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say he wouldn't. But uh, it is. It's fucking easy. It's fucking easy. And uh, as I shared with you, uh, the, uh, what our daughter said 20 years ago, this is easy peasy, Daddy. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, that may be a little too much of a simplification, but it is easy. It's easy if you follow the steps. But the most important thing is to pull the trigger. Now, our zealot <coughs> Reverend Thomas, which I'm sure he'll be watching this, the, uh, uh, he made it sound <clears throat> like it was a, uh, a religious happenstance that you do this. And for some people, it will be. You know, especially for guys like him that are uh, zealots. Uh, but the, the, the sooner you get out there and the sooner you start pulling the trigger and uh, notwithstanding you're going to make mistakes, even though you have, in addition to what you uh, is on the website, you've got some secret sauce, which uh, as long as one of you doesn't put, post, scan the papers I gave you and post it on uh, the Internet, uh, you have that advantage. And it is an advantage right now. And... Um, the kids that uh, are succeeding, in spite of not being here, it's because it is simple. And when I put all the information free on the, on the website, it wasn't because they try to trick fuck the kids that aren't here, but it was to get as many people to utilize QLA as humanly possible. Well, we've got a lot of people now, uh, yourself included. You're the, uh, not the last of the Corona era seminars, because we're giving another one next month. Uh, and uh, there seems to be, again, no... Uh, Reduction in demand. The, uh, so I plan on doing this for a while. And the, uh, I personally like <clears throat> lockdown. I personally like separation because I really don't like you. So not touching you, not hugging you. Not, you know, I, I've been against, you know, kissing cheeks. and shit. I've been against this for 40 fucking years. Now, I never knew that the world would be on my side about this. I never imagined that 40, 40 years after I said, don't touch me, uh, that uh, now, you know, they're, they're, not, uh, they're not allowed because of social distancing. Although, if you listen to the news and you read the papers, etc., people are ignoring it. The longer they ignore it, the better it is for us. That means the longer corona is going to last. If I wish corona would last without the dead people. Because there's, there's no reason why they should die. But I know that's not true. So unfortunately, a lot of people are going to die. So I hope that they uh, someday, someday, over the rainbow, they cure it. But no time soon. No time soon. Mainly because like the Germans here, you're slow for the most part. And we want to give the, we want to give the Germans as much head start as we can. Uh, you guys will get out of the blocks faster than the Germans because they're just 
Now, when they, when they used to march like this, they, you know, they didn't look so fucking slow. But they are. Uh, but um, irrespective of the Germans or some of our Israeli friends, uh, the, uh, it's there. It's like a bird's nest on the ground. It's for the taking. It's for the taking. And uh, it's, you will kick yourself in the ass. And what I've been saying for the last three or four years, what are you going to tell your grandchildren, your children, you did to the greatest uh, uh, dislocation of wealth in the history of the world? Well, I sat there and I read another book. I listened to two more podcasts. And you know that that's a waste of time. That's a waste of time. Uh, I'm, I'm often asked, Dan, why don't you do podcast interviews? Because I'm not interested in what anybody fucking got to say. Because it's, I'm not going to learn anything, and I would be disingenuous passing on that information. I've done a couple of podcasts, uh, but uh, mo mostly as, as favors to various people. But uh, you don't need that. You have all the material that uh, you'll ever need to make a lot of money. So the, the last one-on-one <clears throat> -on -one time that I did tonight before I got dressed said, what does it take for me to have this? And I, I wasn't really sure what he meant by that. Uh, he was a Canadian, of course, so it was, it was, it was a, a little miscommunication. Uh, but, uh, I mean, four or five hundred million dollars in deals, and how soon can you do it? And I said... Uh, based on what you're doing now a long time, but based on up in your game, you can do it in a few years. And we've had people create that kind of wealth in a few years, and that would be on the low end. My $450 million I created by myself isn't even in the top 300 of you kids that have created money. We've created millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, billions, tens of, blah, 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 and hundreds of billions uh, in the last... Uh, 27 years, and a lot of it in, in, um, from the 90s. And the question always comes up, why did the kids in the 90s, in the early 2000s, create more money? Well, I'm not going to pound that horse to death anymore, but you know why. Uh, without webinars, without my book, without um, uh, the Internet, et cetera, et cetera, because I truly believe with all my heart the kids were hungrier, more hungry. Now, I'm hoping with all my heart, and I'm not a big hope or a prayer, that the corona era guys, of course, you're the last group, uh, are really hungry. You're here over and above quarantine. You're here over and above quarantine, which, you know, is a big deal. And the, uh, and the next seminar and the next seminar sold out. I don't know how, if we're going to continue to have quarantine. It appears so. Down south, they're locking um, things down. Um, but unfortunately, as I said, when I first heard about lockdown in mid-March, early April, human being, homo sapien, isn't capable of the discipline to curb corona. Unless we do like the Chinese, put you in jail, $10,000 fine, and beat the fuck out of you with clubs, you're going to bend the rules, if not ignore the rules. That's all good for us. That's all good for us because it gives us more opportunity. Um, I want to toast you. The, um, the last group of the Corona Era uh, Castle Seminars, and then we'll have a graduation, but I want you to go out there, as I've been saying at graduation ceremonies for a long, long time, and rip their fucking heads off and shit down their fucking necks. To you and success. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.